what's driving immigrants from Central America to our southern border. It's a complicated issue, but a new study from the University of Texas shows drought and climate change are pretty significant factors. KXN's Tom Miller talked to one of the study's authors about the spike he found. When we think of people immigrating to the U.S. from Central America, I think often we think of crime and poverty as some critical factors, but you found another just as important factor. We found that dry and hot conditions, drier than normal and hotter than normal conditions were associated with out migration to the U.S. Departments within Central America that were hotter and drier than normal were associated with a 70 percent uh, increase in out migration to the U.S. compared to areas that had just normal weather. And how important is that factor compared to the ones that I just talked about? As if not more important, surprisingly. Did you get a sense for not just that this is happening, but also why this is happening? Climate change is obviously affecting smallholder agriculture in the region. It's getting warmer, it's getting drier. This is an area that's already known for dry and hot temperatures. So farmers are on the margins of being able to make uh, a go at uh, making a living. And it's just getting harder and harder for them to do that. You, know, you talked about this problem likely isn't going anywhere. Yeah. Did you look at what can we do about it? One uh, way to address it would be to support smallholder agriculture and alternative livelihoods in the region. The other would be guest worker programs in the U.S. because it's harder for people to get in. They want to stay longer, but if they had the opportunity to come and go back uh, and support their families, that would make things a lot easier. Professor Josh Busby with the University of Texas, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. A Grammy Award